Hello and welcome to the video on Power BI. In this video, let us take a look at how we can calculate the classic day and retention rate. Before going into the video, I would like to recall my last video wherein I have showed how we can calculate the retention date, retention rate between two periods. And for the purpose of this video, the data set I am going to consider is from the Adventure Works 2019 data warehouse. And the tables that I am going to consider are the fact internet sales and dim date. If you have forgotten, I have already filtered this fact internet sales to only 2013 data. And this was the last representation and it has data from January 2013 to December 2013. Now going into this video, basically to calculate the retention rate. So in this case, I am going to call it as a retention curve because we are going to plot it in a area chart or a, or a line chart. So for calculating the retention rate, all that we require is when was the customer first visit uh, visiting the store and when is the same customer returning to the store so these are the two informations that we require currently we don't have that information let us see how we can build a table that gives us this information so uh, i'm going to create a calculated table here uh, and to yeah i'll go to this table view where i'm going to create a calculated table and for this calculated table as I said earlier, I need when was the customer first came to the store and when did the customer return back to the store. So I'm going to name the table. I'm going to keep the table's name as table. And what I'm going to do currently is I'm going to declare a variable wherein I'm going to use the summarize function to get to the values that I require. So the table that I'm going to use is fact internet sales. And I want to group this table by customer key. Then what I need is, I need the first date when the customer visited the store. So for this, I'm going to just take the minimum of order date because I'm going to do this entire analysis based on the order date. Then what I need is the first week because in this example that I'm going to, I'm going to show you what is the retention rate by week. So for that purpose, I'm going to just get the week number of the minimum date so basically since i'm going to get the week number of the minimum date this is going to return me the first week when the customer visited the store so let me show you this so once i click once once i return this value of a you would see a table with three columns wherein i'm going to have the customer key and the first date the customer visited the store and what is the week that first date falls in so basically, if you see 13-6-2013, which is the June month 13th, falls in the 24th week. Now, I'm going to create one more table wherein I'm going to get a similar information. But in this case, instead of getting the first week and first date, I'm going to get the actual order week and actual order date. So I'm going to again take the same fact internet sales table and I'm going to group this table by customer key then what I need would be the order date. So since I'm doing this analysis based on the order date, I'm going to take the order date. Then I'm going to create a new column called order week. So basically this is going to get the week number of the order date. So I'll return this B here. So if you see, the output of this B is going to be the same customer key column and there are going to be two other columns. One is the order date and order week. So now let me, so if you see, I'm going to have two tables. One is going to return me the customer key first date and first week. The second table is going to return me the customer key order week and order date. Now all that I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two tables. So for this purpose, I'm just going to use the function natural inner join and I'm going to set my A as the left table and B as the right table. <coughs> the moment I click on enter, it is going to return me a table that is going to have five columns, customer key, order date, order week, first date and first week. So basically this natural inner join is going to look for a common uh, or look for a column with a common name and going to 
join these tables based on that column in this case it's going to be customer key so basically these this a and b will be joined based on the customer key and the data is getting returned now that we have a single table view the next step is go, i'm going to create a new column which is going to give me the difference of the weeks between the first week the customer has visited and the order week so let me name this as week difference and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just take the order week and to that order week I'm going to subtract the first week. So now this is going to give me the difference between the first week and the order week. So here as you can see the first week a customer has visited the store is fifth week and the order date is also the same. But if I scroll down further right I can show you cases where this is different. So if you see here, this particular customer 12893 has visited the store for the first time in the 30th week and the same person has, repeat, uh, has returned to the store on the 50th week. So the difference in the week is 20. Now going to the view, I now have this table here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a matrix. So in this matrix, I'm going to, I'll just pull the first week into the rows and into the column I am going to pull in the week difference and in the values I am going to pull in the customer key and this I am going to set to count distinct. So now if you see what it says is basically on the first week of this 2013 there were 73 customers, second week 119, third week 103, fourth week 128, fifth week 291. And if you see at the top, this is the week difference. So basically what I'm, so the zero refers to the same week as the customer's visit. And one is the next week, two is the second week, three is the third week, and four is the fourth week, fifth is the fifth week. So to explain for you, this, this means that there are 291 customers who had visited the store on the fifth week. And when you add this one to this five, right, this is sixth week. So basically what we are saying is, out of this 291 customers, there are 13 customers who have come back to the store on the 6th week. And out of this 291 customers, 4 customers have come back to the store on the 7th week. 7 customers have come, on, come to the store on 8th week. So that's how this entire table goes. <clears throat> now that we have the number of customers who have visited the store by week, let us see how we can calculate the retention. I'm going to create a new measure for this purpose um, I'll name this measure as a has retention trend uh, since we are going to see the trend I'm going to name this as retention trend here again I'm going to create a variable called number of customers here what I'm going to do is like I'm just going to do a distinct count of customer key from the table from the table with the name as table and the second okay let me return this I'll pull this measure into a card visual so that we get to see how many total customers are there so as we can see it says 17 K customers so which is 17 429 is the total number of customers we have uh, we have in this uh, data set now the second thing that I'm going to calculate is I'm going to get the total number of customers. I'm going to name this variable as all customers and here what I'm going to do is like I'm going to calculate use the calculate function. I'm going to get the same distinct count of customer key from the table with the name table and then what I'm going to do is like for here I what I need is I'm considering first week week difference and customer key so I am getting the customer key values here my first week is going to be in the row and my week difference is going to be in the column so what I will do is I'll, I will I just want to get the number of customers who have who are going who have visited in the week 0 to get the day end retention so I am going to say that week difference should be equal to 0. Now I will return this all customers here.
so no change what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert this into a matrix again my first week will be in the row and the week difference is going to be in the column so now you see that the all customer number matches with whatever you are seeing here i'll go here and i'm going to add one more filter here where i'm just going to remove any other filter except the one on the first week on the first week filters So once I remove the filter on the first week, it is going to not consider any of these values in the row and it is going to return me 17, 429 all over. Now what I will do is like I will divide number of customers by all customers and then I am going to convert this into a percentage for a, for a clarity. Now if you see here, it is showing 0%, 1% and everything here. But this is not what we are basically looking for. All we are looking for is whatever is the percentage for the first week, it should all be 100%. And from this first week, we need the calculation to show me the retention for day n. So for that purpose, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to change this to week difference. Now once I change this to week difference, my 0th week is all 100. Basically what it means is out of this 73 customers, all 73 percentage of them have visited this week. Out of this 119 customers, all 119 of them have visited this week. Of this 103 customers, all 103, ha 103 have visited this week. So basically that's how this calculation goes. Now coming to the same example here, for the 5th week there are 291 customers in the 0th week, 13 customers in the 1st week. So 0th week percentage is 100 and 1st week per, or the 6th week percentage is 4%. Uh, now let us cross check this with a calculator calculation. So basically it says that 13 customers have returned back out of the 291 customers. So I am just going to do 2, 13 by 291 and I am going to convert this into a percentage. It shows 4.47 percentage now what i will do is like i'll just include two decimal places to this so it shows 4.47 and what we can do here is we can also cross check if these numbers are good so basically what we are saying is out of the 17 429 customers who have visited on the week 0 117 of them have returned on week 1 although this is a very uh, bad retention rate but still for our example this holds good so I am going to do this so as you can see here it is 0.67 percentage which is what we are seeing here so now what is the action the store is going to take so they need to investigate on why in spite of having so many new customers visiting each week their retention is so low so everywhere as you can see in this data set it doesn't uh, go beyond 1% it's less than 1% now Coming to the last step, how do we show it as a uh, trend? So, what I'm going to do is like I'm just going to use an area chart here instead of a matrix and I'll remove this first week. So, now what you are seeing here is for each of these weeks, what is the retention percentage? I'm going to format this into a category axis. Yeah, and I'll sort this in ascending order and based on week difference. So now basically it shows for the 0th week, the retention is 100% on the first week 0 0.67, 0 0.71, 0 0.63, 0 0.5. So whatever was the total that you were seeing earlier in the matrix, now that is getting displayed as a trend of values. So this is how you calculate the retention rate based on trend. Now, in this example, if you see I am doing this for one year, you can probably explore how you can do this for multiple years when you are considering a slicer on top of years. That's all in this video on Power BI. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment 
for more similar videos.